Back at the Retriever Invitational with quote unquote Towson State runner Chris Burdett. Seems more at home here than he is back at Towson. Um, what did you think about your finish today? Very exciting. It's the most exciting finish I've ever had in my life. I enjoyed it. It was fun. How to try. It was fun to watch. Or it will be fun to watch once I see it. What? What happened? Do it over a kid. Saved his life. I like kids. They're cool. Kids are kids are cool. Go Towson! Go Towson! Go Towson! Nice and relaxed. Go after him now. Go get him, bird. Go get him, bird. Go get the guy, bird. Time to go to work. Time to go to work. Ten minutes to go. You got to pick it up, guys. You got to pick it up. That's the race. You got to pick it up. Come on, Brian. Go, Brian. Go, Bird. Got to get him, Brian. Go, Bird. Way to go. Go get him. Go. Brian. Bird. You guys will remember where you finished. You can get your sticks now. Give me those. Eleven. Well, we are. But uh, the guys will remember you the first two. Eleven. Bird, eleven. Hey, number six. Look out, Jimmy! You gotta get those white shirts. Come on, you gotta get UBC guys. Come on. Let's go. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, you could probably be seeing the water in the sky. Okay, wait for the next guy. Think of anything else to say. I don't know these people. Chris Burdett's coming. Go Bird! 28-17 for Chris. No false start, Rick. Set. Let's go, Chris. Come on, Vogel Sound, get in there. He's doing like the first Come on, Bird, ball. dog and Bird. God, that's, that's, bird. A, that's a presence. The half, this is the half for Bird. Go, Rick. Go, win, Rick. Go, win. You know, Andy. Go, Bird. Go, Eric. Keep it up, come on! Come on! Second. 
up at 9.59. Approximately um, two flat. Two flat. Two point zero. One fifty nine point zero. Or one fifty nine point nine. That's what the watch says. We'll have to rewatch this to time that again. But that's bird, damn good. Bird going out really quick. Orange team is catching him. Uh, can't really see who the orange team is. Bird's first is. About 28. About 28. Pretty quick. Morgan's got a good comfortable Bird looking very relaxed and smooth right now. I believe Orange team, uh, Morgan, has just taken over the lead over Bird. 58 for Bird. 58 for Bird. Shit. Bird doing a good job sticking with him. Come on, Bird, move! UMBC and Hagerstown making a move on Bird right now currently. Morgan State still in the lead. Bird sticking with it with a lap to go. One lap to go for Bird. His time is 131. 131 at 600. Oh, he's tightened up. Come on, Bird, move it! Here comes Hagerstown on the outside. Stick with him, Bird. Come on, Bird. Bird doing everything he possibly can. Hagerstown third. Come on, Dave. Hands off the Dave. Towson third, sorry. I guess he'll just have to work on it a bit. 52-6. Steady ran a 52-6, and he handed off the bird. <clears throat> uh, I wish Andy was here to take over for me. Okay. 29, it's 200. Birds fighting off UMBC. UMBC passes Bird. He might. Oh, I sense a conspiracy. Did Bird throw the race? Who had to gain by it? Sixty-one at the quarter. As UMBC past and present duke it out. Now exactly what does that mean for the listeners who don't know the history? For the listeners who don't know the history, Bird used to go to UMBC, and he's always hanging around the UMBC guys. <coughs> he moved, he transferred to Tassie State only because UMBC didn't have his major. Which is uh, which is um, which is a pretty fine major, I'm sure. I think it was phys ed. Or physics, we're not sure. Or physics, we're not sure. <laughs> Go, <laughs> As they run under the Delaware Seal. 
They read Sigal Sigleton Universitatis 209 at the half. Okay. It's almost handoff time, friends and neighbors, boys and girls, and the like. Birds lost contact with UMBC. Will he take it back? Is he going to get it back? Well, Looks like it. oh, there he goes. There he goes. There's something about that area that makes everyone just explode. Probably because Raj is there. And uh, it's here that the East Coast Conference does in fact exist. What you're here, seeing here is an unprecedented turnout for the 35 pound. Okay, coming around the turn hopefully isn't distracted by Bird's shirtless body. All right, we're here at the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. And big. in today's <laughs> steeplechase event, albeit um, steeple indirectly, are fish inside the water jump. Fish will be loving this race. All right, running for us today is Chris Burdett, standing behind the official right now. Yeah. But I'm sure you can yeah, see him. I couldn't there. imagine they have a 100 meter stretch with their jump. Right, yeah, there's there's another jump. Okay, they're, they're ready, they're poised. Running's in their blood. How many bears are Water will be in their shoes. I think there's three other barriers. It's kind of cold today. So. There's three barriers and a uh, <laughs> water. <laughs> Hey, watch out, fish. Around. Oh, it's not yet. We'll do the fish has been granted a reprieve for now. I could do this with us. The pack is so tight. Jumping over the water jump would be, well, kind of dangerous. But then again, isn't it always? In third place, from Second place. Well, they haven't gone over a barrier yet. They have yet to clear a barrier. Oh, there they go, though. Oh, over the Bird, Bird is not in the lead right now. He's about uh, sixth or seventh, maybe. But he's still up there. <laughs> okay, now is when the fish will jump. They're nearing the water jump, which is where the bulk of the spectators are. Goes Chris. He looks like dogs. Head and sploosh. Chris. Chris. Chris cleared the water jump. I <laughs> said. <laughs> okay, and over the another jump to go. You all can pretty much see this. I don't know why I have to tell you. But maybe I'm looking, you know. This is for those people who are in the next room, like, having a snack. They know when... They know when Chris is jumping, like, that time right there. He just jumped over. <laughs> There's your leaders right there. What place is Bird in? More than six. Sixth. Bird's in about sixth, maybe a little farther back. Oh, oh, California you goes by. That's in Pennsylvania. And Chris's number today is 232. Is he going to clear Oh, he hit the wall. seems to have him though as, a, as one to watch on the water jump as he does clear the water most times. And 
let's pause until further action, shall we? There's no way to know where the split lines are. So, and once again, that's Chris Burdett running. Running for Towson State. Approaching the water jump for the fourth time. And he clears it, and everyone's the last lap. All right, Chris is going to attempt to catch a very bloody uh, Vernon or Vernell Chavis. We're not quite sure which one, as they are twins. Note the blood on his face. He already ran by. And once again, that's Chris Burdett. Okay, they're coming up to the last water jump. And the... Oh, it's water. But no one really cares anymore. So, oh, he's gone into his sprint. He's got one. He's got to clear another barrier. He clears it. He got another guy. Who I think he's laughing. He's got another guy who he's probably laughing as well. Frostburg's in our way. And he caught Chavis. And Ruck with the men's 1500 meter run. He won. In this we have Chris Burdett of Mount St. Joe's High School. John. Formerly of Mount St. Joe's High School, John Spiegel, of formerly of JFK High School, Steve Sturgis, formerly of Glenelg High School, and Dave Vogelsang, formerly of Randallstown High School. Second and final call. The men's one hurdle. Okay, Georgetown is going out to an early one, two, three, four lead. Chris in not exactly regulation uniform, but it will do for today's weather. Directly behind them with a Richmond guy, Dave, John, and Steve. Another Georgetown guy moving up. Tightly packed, kind of spread out, sort of evenly. 65. 65 for Chris. Come on, Chris, get up in there, Chris! Richmond guy and Chris. Burdett. And then a couple mini packs of Dave and John and Steve. Chris with his tan lines. Holding on to the back. Kind of losing touch with the front pack now a bit. Georgetown is like all completely bunched up together. Richmond and Bird are kind of on their own in a way. And yet close enough to maintain contact. And they're down to a lap to go. Okay, Bird's catching up to Richmond. Looking very strong, very rejuvenated. Takes off. And away he goes. His next stop, Georgetown. Will he catch him? Well, I would think so if we could see him in the screen, but... Georgetown has spread themselves out a little more as they finish off the race. We now see who can kick and who cannot on that team. And Chris goes barreling down the final stretch. One. 
Simons. Playing the Simons men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. We have Chris Burdett, Grant Martin, and Steve Sturgis. Um, so, because they're starting over there, oh. and so they, the starters can see, see better when they start it. Just men's race, anyway. Um, it's they go. It's three thousand, and so it's like it's like a. And first time around they first went. Fall, men, high jump. Second time around there's a wall, men, high jump. They have to jump over a hurdle and they could fall in. And there'll be other barriers. See this barrier? Let's throw them out. The first lap is three. That's what we see right now. Where's bird? Birds. Birds in about fourth. As they leap over their first barrier, I believe. Nothing. It just looks like. Like, you know, you can play in Bird. Bird's a little ways back. Bird. Steve goes flying over it. As it often is early on in the race, we'll just we'll see how many of these guys can hurdle that well towards the end. A good wire jump. That's what people say different hurdling style for most people. He kind of brings both feet together as he's going over. See? Said he lands on both feet. It's certainly an interesting style and it seems to work for Grant, so who are we to judge? Second water jump. See if Bird can clear it. And he just back. Ultimate oh. lap here. Second lap. And he's taking the lead. This is the leader. Well, he's beating this guy from Drexel who's really good, whose name escapes me at the moment. And there's the gun, and there goes Bird. He has one lap to go to hold his lead and to take the win. Clears the barrier just fine. Right now, looks like he's looks like he's gonna take the win as he keeps building speed and just about clears the water jump again. And there goes his kick. Now going for time. 9.35. And 9.35. Chris Burdett, 1992 Delaware Invitational Champion in the 3000 Steeple Chase. And of course we are all proud. As his, as his roommate Tom congratulates him. Good job, great job. As all his adoring fans cry out, hooray, hooray, praises be to he who's bird. Uh, we're going to interview Chris Burdett. <laughs> won the steeplechase. I, I got to get a long way. I got to zoom. He won the steeplechase with a hawk in last lap. I was behind him, so I didn't see it. But uh, we'll have a chat with him. Chris, how do you feel, man? Good. 
What was your time? Uh, 9.32. And uh, what's the school record? Uh, 9.15. You think that's gettable by the end of the season? You heard it here. He's going to break it at the conference. Over to you, Andy. Wait a hmm. So I'm losing my voice. I won't be announcing too much of this race. I'll be back for the mile relay, though. Maybe. I don't know. And they're off. It's a good start. We've got Bird leading Towson. Got John on the inside. Uh, I believe that's Sturgis. Oh, we've also got Ted Van Sant in this race. Sorry to leave you out, Ted. Okay, it's nice pack currently going here. We've got Spiegel and Bird in second and third. UMBC. UMBC's 1-2. Uh, Sturgis right now holding fourth. <clears throat> and we've got Ted and Bill. Bill with the fluorescent green shoes. And John still holding with the lead pack. So it looks like they're trying to break away, but Bird's definitely sticking with them. <clears throat> John right on Bird's shoulder. UMBC making a move on John. John answers, doesn't let him buy. We've got Sturgis still with that lead lead group. 76 first lap. Okay. Bird still hanging with the lead too from UMBC. John dropping back not that much. He's still right on Bird. And Sturgis starting to fall off the lead pack a lot. So it goes UMBC, two UMBCs, two Towsons, two UMBCs, two Towson, three Towson. Um, third and fifth. <coughs> now back to the Javelin. Yeah, they're coming up to the mile here. These are the leaders. Here's the second pack, John Bird. Here's the mile mark. 458. 504. Two miles. And there's a fight. There's a fight. <laughs> Again, the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Chris Burdett. And men's as opposed to women's who don't have a steeplechase, so it's just called the 3,000 meter steeplechase from now on, okay? And there's Chris Burdett, the taller Towson State guy, and Steve Sturgis, the shorter Towson State guy. They're both gonna run. That's why they're both on the starting line. And they're ready. Let's go! Boom. Scott Elwood in the lead right now with uh, Brian McGee and Chris Burdett from Ryder. Brian McGee from Ryder currently in third place. 